Taylor is a play that I wrote based on a web series that I wrote and directed called The G&D. Essentially The G&D is a web series promoting actors and musicians. There's new actors and new musicians every single episode. Uh, the actors perform a piece that I've written and the musicians perform an original song. And what I wanted to do with the play was essentially cross mediums of live performance and online content. And the best way to do that, I thought, was to present the first episode of this web series uh, on a projector screen. As the audience come in, they watch the first episode for five minutes. The music starts in that episode, the lights come up, and the two actors from that episode, played by Lars and Trevor, come back out on stage and finish the story. Ladies and gentlemen, up next to the dentist, Lars, who is a Wait, 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 wait. Lars, 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 buddy, we don't need that. We're just gonna come in and do it. But no, they always introduce. <laughs> Yeah, but they get someone else to introduce them, they don't do it themselves. <laughs> Who are you gonna get? I don't know, it's just us here, so unless somebody wants to you want an intro say someone no, else. Yeah, no, yeah, you're brother. It's not rehearsed. No intro, fine. No okay. intro, just come in and do it. That was definitely an original thing, I've never done that before, I've never seen it done. Um, I know sometimes in productions they use multimedia, but to have a story start and then be continued by theater, I thought that was, was an interesting way of meshing multi multimedia, you know, screens and live performance. It's one of the hot triggers I use when I'm talking about this project, is that it's, a, it's an amalgamation of, of mediums. And uh, it's something that I would probably rip off and use in the future for future projects. I think it's great because people in this day and age, they they think that theater is refreshing. They, they want to get away from the screen. But the minute you show them a screen, they're like, oh, yeah, feeling good again. So you show them the screen, and you take it away. What's the confusion? You've paid me to kidnap your ex, Taylor. Correct. Who I've just found out is a him. Mm -hmm. Clue's kind of in the name. The name is gender neutral. Wow. Here, Taylor, I think Taylor Swift. I thought it was a great idea because I just wanted people to get out there and start enjoying theater again. Rather than watching content online or checking out things on their phones or on TVs, I just wanted people to go back out there in and amongst the community and enjoy that live experience amongst strangers. The actors were great, they, they performed fantastically and I think that they added little nuances that I wouldn't have thought of that really helped push it along. And they were both the engine of this uh, of this uh, performance. <laughs> wow, the uh, professional killer has a morality complex. Oh, like I think it's been established that I'm not professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, it's me, Lars, Lord of the Idiots. It's a safety lesson, theater safety. If it's blackout, you should never be moving faster than you can stop when you're running into something that you cannot see. I ran into a door slash wall. Oh. All those lines about the blood were in there, but it wasn't spoken. It's just your blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and the blackout going out, I clicked the like, hug. <laughs> yeah. We have a war wound right here. These people witnessed me slam my head into the uh, sidewall in a blackout, and then in the next scene I came out was actually bleeding. But as luck would have it, the scene actually calls for me to be bloody, but usually it's fake blood. So, yeah, we're, yeah, we're really your blood. It was, yeah. it was definitely my I, I wondered why the effect was so good. I thought, okay, it's our first run. Maybe he was holding something backstage. Yeah. Great production value. I have ice here. I'm gonna ice this bad boy. You wanna get in there real good? Anyway, the show went really great. Went great. Yeah, other than that, the show went amazing. Uh, fantastic production. What a, a seamless blend of, of, of recorded and live elements. Like, great job. Hilarious. Uh, such a great script. Great dialogue. The actors had it back and forth. It was, such, it was sharp. It was tight. They kept it in there. It didn't drag at all. Um, like very uh, efficient, honestly. I, I, I was up wanting more.
still game for it? I don't see why not. What could go wrong? <laughs> How hard could it be? Atta boy. <laughs> I'm Dan Walsh, and this is what I do. after the whole kidnapping part. Right, another short break. Thank you. 